right, let's watch this shit. The dark side of Nickelodeon uh, surviving Dan Schneider. Today, my special guest is the executive producer of the Man Show, Dan Schneider. Thank you to Nickelodeon. He looks like a fucking um, weirdo. Thank you to Dan Schneider. Dan, we love. First of all, his last name is Schneider. Like it's that name just makes me want to fucking sneeze. Schneider. You, thank you so much, dude. Thank you, Nickelodeon. Thank you, Dan Schneider. It's hard to put into words what Dan has done for all of us. I want to thank Nickelodeon and Dan Schneider. He's the guy. Oh, Ariana Grande is so fire. Fuck. Behind some of the greatest shows. Dan Schneider weighs less than you. Okay. Nickelodeon. His name is Dan Schneider. If you watch Dan Schneider's work, it is completely. First of all, me and him don't even look alike. Really impossible to escape. The notion of feet. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check the this fuck? out. No. Where did this shit come up? Like, no way this was on um uh, Sam and Cat or Victorious. No way. There's just feet everywhere. Tori, please pour ketchup all over your feet. I still say this no. is not performing. This is why I'm in Hollywood. Yeah. Get your cereal, kids. <laughs> what the bro, what? He got a foot fetish? Thanks for spoiling the fucking video, but what? Hey Dan Schneider, look what you've done to me. Oh, I've seen this. Ain't he gay, but nothing wrong with that. Dan Schneider. Boom. He is responsible for the prolific careers of a bunch of people, bunch of shows that we all have come to know and love from millennials all the way to Gen Z and everybody above. Low key, you like, yeah, he's a fucking pedophile and shit. Like, yeah, he's, yeah, he's fucking horrible. He deserves to go to jail. But he did make some fucking good ass TV shows. Hello and in between. Besides if this show, Sam and Cat was mid. If you are alive right now, you probably are familiar with something that Dan Schneider has created. He's responsible for the careers of Amanda Bynes, Josh Peck, Jamie Lynn Spears, Miranda Cosgrove, Jeanette McCurdy, and even Ariana Grande. Many more, but that's just to name a few. There were some seriously frightening and worrisome things going on at Nickelodeon Studios during that heyday with his- I have a fetish, only Jared fetish, only yeah, okay. Company Schneider's Bakery. It seems as though Nickelodeon and everyone involved seem to try to sweep under the rug a lot of strange and worrisome behaviors that we're gonna get into today. Wait, now, what? Nickelodeon and Dan Schneider have been exposed a million times over by many people on YouTube. I have a new video for you guys because it's time to talk about this monster, Dan Schneider. Wait, who is he though? Is he an actor? Could they have prevented this? And if so, why didn't they? If you don't understand why the giant foot plays such a big part in this, you will in a minute. Hidden behind that orange foot is some disgusting, deplorable things. Yeah, foot fetish, no judgment here. That's all you. But it's different when you put that foot fetish in the children's TV show. Now that's True. The problem. What it's the all... fuck is going Why is he putting feet in shit? First of all, why is a Nickelodeon sign a foot? Isn't it supposed to be like a splat or something? All his colleagues around him seem to be held accountable, but he doesn't seem to be held accountable. And there was another actress called Ale What is on her head? Is she trying to hide herself from the aliens? Shit ain't not gonna work, little bro. Alexa Nicholas. She went on Instagram live. And my mom was like, can you please get Dan? Get Dan here immediately. Get the producers here immediately. Someone needs to figure out what just happened to my daughter. So then finally Dan walks in. And Dan has not helped the entire time. And I don't feel comfortable going into details about what I've seen with Dan or like what Dan is. My mom put me in acting like that wasn't my choice. I was six. I had to support my family. So it wasn't like I was, mm. you know, came out of the womb like I'm tap dancing and like ready to go or something. It's the thing that I feel the most. Yo, 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 yo. In my entire life. I, I do not like any of the, the acting work that I have ever, like any of the projects that I've been a part of as an actor. Oh and yeah, I never noticed this as a fucking kid. All these fucking toes, <laughs> yo, yeah. Even talking about it, honestly, my heart starts to race and like, I, I feel like I almost could cry. So now, according to a website called looper.com, for years, prolific She used to be my, uh, my, um, 
a childhood crush. What's her name? Sam from uh, iCarly. She's Dan bad. Schneider occupied a prominent place in the world of children's television. Yo, as we've just what is that discussed. photo? Throughout the late 90s and early 2000s, Dan and his Schneider Bakery banner oversaw numerous hit shows on Nickelodeon, including All That, Keenan and Kel, Drake Kenan and Josh, and, and iCarly. At the height of Dan's fame, he was likened to fellow TV titans. Whoa, he looks like a pad right here. Titan Norman Lear by the New York Times, a comparison that should indicate just how respected he was at that point in time. D I don't like, I don't like Dan. He is a pad. Idiot. So, okay, fuck. Some of the weird stuff that this man is responsible for doing. Like, first of all, we cannot ignore the feet. Huh? Bro, come on. <laughs> I just don't get the fact that people get hard over fucking feet. Like, what the fuck is, like, how could that possibly make you get hard? Like, okay, like the ass, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we understand. But how the fuck literally do feet turn you on? I never got that. I literally don't to this Basically, day. Basically what happened is a, a few of us started How could you look at, you know, five toes on each one and be like, oh yeah, that shit's fucking fire. And a Look old. up girl from kicking it. I forgot he named, but she was my childhood crush. And we would revisit some of Dan Schneider's shows like on Nick at Night or just reruns or whatever. And we started thinking like this very familiar feeling across all of us like, what the fuck are we watching? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Some old heads watching this shit for sure got hard. For sure got hard watching this scene. I, I promise you. Yes. After this, we massage my feet. No, gross. Get in between the toes. It was weird. Oh my God! What? Star, so she gets a big, big. She gets a big a spitball shooter. Spitball shooter thing. I want. Hey, hey. Your old head. Did you get hard? What the fuck? I'm only twenty. No, hey, wait. Can you get a close up of this? Can you get a close up of this one? No. You go, boy. Hey. Uh, Amanda, demonstrate. Spit on the five thousand. Oh, no. You say oh, there, so it's all the paper. No, no, no. <laughs> and you get a gallon of fresh spit. And then you sit here and put a little part in this, 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 this thing. What do you think of that explanation? <laughs> oh, it was, it was very explanatory. Uh, Specifically, the feet. It is absolutely impossible to escape the concept and image of children's feet. Would you smell my foot and tell me what you think? Bro. I dare you to spend one day saying yes, yes. Yeah, I'll smell your foot. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's just feet everywhere, feet all around. Bro, there was a person that told me they there's people that, okay, this is your crush? Okay. Um, someone told me they pay for feet pics. Like that, that's fucking crazy. I have a weird me? talent. What's your talent? Oh, okay, okay, I'll show you. Can't believe I'm doing this. It even went so far really? to permeate onto Nickelodeon's actual logo for some time, like in the late 90s, early 2000s, a big foot. It was just feet everywhere. And at the time as a child, I think I probably just thought it was funny or whatever. But when some of these fans, reporters, journalists started to look back at these shows with a little bit of perspective, they started to notice that it wasn't just feet being featured on the shows, but Dan Schneider himself from his public original Twitter account was soliciting pictures of children's feet from the audience from Nickelodeon fans on Twitter it, like it's just what? Weird. what is his weird obsession with children's feet like sure put it in your shows that's kind of weird force Ariana Grande to have her feet stuck in a thing so you can tickle them or lick them or whatever weird shit you did on that episode I don't know I don't know so basically make your own decision up about the feet to me I think it's weird and us over here at BJ investigates thinks it's weird as if that's not weird enough we could end the episode there because it's really weird that the man was asking children for pictures of their naked feet with writing on the bottom of it it's Bro, just really weird Daniel. who the fuck is asking for that grown-ass fucking over overweight ass dude asking for that pit, uh, kid's feet, bro. It's a really weird thing to do. But then the next thing that they actually did that I think is really strange was Dan would host these recruiting parties for children. He would have pool parties. Really? And invite all the kids over and be like, oh, we'll just take care of the kids. No adults need to come over. So he was having pool parties 
with these kids that are on the shows without any kind of adult supervision going Whoa. on. One of my friends that used to work on a couple of the shows that he did. I mean, this goes back to the mid early 90s. And he would spend extremely large amounts of time uh, along with the kids in their in their dressing rooms without any adult supervision in there either. He what? was just, uh, he, he's just a, a sick dude. And people have known about this in the industry for a long time. This isn't anything that's new to, to people within, within Bro, there. but no one fucking spoke up? Literally no one spoke up about this shit. And it's not anything new to Nickelodeon either. I don't know why Nickelodeon continues to put up with this guy. Whoa, not a Michelle Obama. Not Michelle Obama, bro. In 1997, I was discovered in a mall, and eventually I got a manager got and an agent, and then as I started man. growing in my career in 2007. You know how many fucking people probably beat to that shit? Like, let's be fucking realistic. You know how motherfuckers beat to... Shit sick me. Then my agent um, contacted me and my family about um, possibly getting a good Nickelodeon gig. I personally, at the time, I watched a ton of Nickelodeon, and I was very immersed in that lifestyle, so I wanted to pursue it. My mom and she was my manager at the time she had some you know reservations about it she didn't really want me being exposed like that especially because in the audition call listing they did mention like you know wear something cute like wear spaghetti straps or a skirt or you know whatever and my mom when she told me later on that whenever she saw things like that she thought that it was a little uncomfortable for people to be telling kids what to wear how old were you at the time i was probably around 15 14 years old and oh my I god i actually considered older at the time for what they were looking for so it oh was my they they considered you older what the fuck does that even what does that mean that they're gonna use it for like an 18 year old actor like what 2007, my agent called about the Nickelodeon show. It was for Zoe 101, but because that show, I think, was getting canceled at the time. It, got it looks like the Spears family is growing again, but this time it's not Britney Spears who's expecting. It's her 16-year-old little sister, Jamie Lynn. Nickelodeon what? did put out a carefully worded statement saying, quote, we respect Jamie Lynn's decision to take responsibility in this sensitive and personal situation. Our primary concern right now is for Jamie Lynn's well-being, not our show. Zoe 101. They were looking just for anything. Wait, 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 wait. She was pregnant at 16 years old, bro? And Dan Schneider's next show was iCarly. So they were looking for, you know, extras or possibly like a lead type of role. So, of course, my agent jumped on that opportunity and we flew out to L.A. for this audition. And when we got there, it was probably like 200 kids. And then these random agents hand-selected specific kids that they liked or, you know, showed some charisma. And then um, once about 40 kids were selected, we were then told to take off our shoes and that we were each going to go into a room to show the producer, who is Dan Schneider, the tape to see who he would want on the show. And, um, of course, you know, we always ask, like, what would you but like? But why feet? Like, why? Why do you need to see the feet? Like, what does it have to do with the fucking audition? What does it do? be doing once we're in there? My agent told me, you got to just take off your shoes, just, like, run around in front of the camera, you know, talk about how much you love being barefoot. And at the time, even, you know, it was like, okay, what? that's weird. But I didn't think anything of it because I was still young. Then when I saw other kids doing it, like, their parents were like, take your shoes off, like, we're going in, like, this is it, this is your thing. You know, it was all the kids that were wearing, like, the short shorts, like, the what? you know spaghetti strap tank tops you know things that were a little more open and less reserved and then once we got into the last room to, before my audition happened my mom kind of looked around and was like this is wrong there's just something really wrong about this and i at the time i was really upset because i wanted to do this the new cast started Whoa. with a two-week comedy boot camp that schneider held with the help of the team that included the show's dialogue coach ryan peck and at the parties the children would be wearing bathing suits it would be Why? supervised and to listen to some children who describe these parties they would say their parents were not even invited interestingly enough most of the kids oh, these are literally kids bro they're literally under the age of 18 they should be with fucking parents 
that got discovered by the pool. And I believe, like, it was, like, Megan Fox and Hillary Duff was another mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. who got discovered there at the pool. And Whoa. the parents were so desperate to have their children be famous Thanks. for whatever reason. I can't relate. You couldn't have gone to the, I don't know, anywhere where there's clothes. I don't know. So then in 2014, I don't know where this falls in the timeline, but Dan Schneider received a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Kids' Choice Awards. What's up, Kids' Choice Awards? When I was asked to be here to present the first ever Nickelodeon Lifetime Achievement Award, I was like, no way, it's not gonna happen. Not unless you can figure out a way for me to be in two places at once, and you did it! So my body is here in New York, but my heart is out there in LA with all of you guys, because I wanna help honor a guy who has spent his entire life making kids laugh. His name is Dan Schneider, and he's the guy behind some of the greatest shows on Nickelodeon. That's why we're honoring him tonight with this special award. So to Dan, I'd like to say thank you. You've made more milk come out of more kids noses than anybody else congratulations what is that saying what, what does that mean i'm happy to be here to honor dan we are so happy to be here to honor you dan yes you not only changed all of our lives you changed kids tv you no know, it's hard to put into words what dan has done for all of us and all of you out there and all over the world so we'll just say Thank you, Dan. So, it is our great honor to present the first ever Nickelodeon Lifetime Achievement Award to a man who's been making all of us laugh for the past two decades. Put your hands together for the one and only Dan Schneider! So, here come big old Dan, Dan Schneider, big ass. surrounded by a posse it's of ironic teeny that boppers, big, all of them hanging all over the man. It's really weird. So, thank you for making my life great and just making every day so freaking fun! Thank you, guys! Kids Choice Awards 24 days! The fuck? March 29th, 2018, Nickelodeon and Schneider's Bakery, which is Dan's company, finally part ways. So I guess like oh. allegations had gotten like so bad or whatever, but actually Jake has gotten me an article that I have not read yet. It's by Deadline.com and it's called Nickelodeon Parts Ways with TV series producer Dan Schneider. <clears throat> Exclusive updated. Nickelodeon has ended its long relationship with one of its most prolific creators. Dan Schneider. Probably for the best, considering the feet thing alone. Yeah, bro, that's weird. Following many conversations together about next directions and future opportunities, Nickelodeon and our longtime creative partner, Dan Schneider, Schneider's Bakery, have agreed to not extend. <laughs> he looked weird in that photo. The current deal. Nickelodeon and Schneider said in a joint statement to Deadline the following. Since several Schneider's Bakery projects are wrapping up, both sides agreed that this is a natural time for Nickelodeon Whoa, and is that him? to pursue other opportunities and projects. This is kind of weird to me considering like he made his whole career on Nickelodeon. Like, I don't know where he thought he was about to go. I mean, Facts. I think everything he ever did was on Nickelodeon, if I'm not mistaken. So it's very strange that it would be natural for him to leave this network whenever he made his career on the network. Mm. Maybe it had something to do with something else, not maybe natural. Dan and his Schneider's Bakery team have created a string of lasting, groundbreaking hits over the years, including, we've already discussed this, yeah, Drake Carly, and Joe, Victorious, yeah. and the w current shows number one hit show on they Nickelodeon, Henry Danger. The statement continued. We thank Dan and his Schneider's Bakery producers, executives, and social media team for their immeasurable contributions to Nickelodeon. And we wish them the best in their future endeavors. And Dan and Schneider's Bakery are proud of the work they did together with Nickelodeon and will always remain big fans of the network. The decision comes as Nickelodeon has opted to cancel Schneider's latest series, Game Shakers, after three seasons. They go on to say, among other things, I hear there had been multiple complaints of abusive behavior Whoa. against Schneider filed by members of his staff. What's going on back here by the robot? Hold on, let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening back here. Oh, no! What the uh, fuck I was going on? Literally. Like, he's literally got a towel on. Hopefully, he has something under that, too. But, bro, that's a fucking child. Are we close to bowling? <laughs> Sorry. Caught Jerry in a bad moment there. How much attention does Jeanette need? <laughs> Why do they look so, like, awkward or something? What is a young kid say? What did his mom say? He went scary. I mean, joy. Try it again. 
but more cat-like. <laughs> okay. For years, Schneider had been under a cloud of suspicion over the treatment of some weird. younger stars of his shows. Among the things that have raised eyebrows are his tweeted photos of the toes of his young female stars. So one thing I will tell you right now is people will actually pay money to look at your feet. I did not know that. I did not know that. That was news to me. But I will tell you that that is the truth. So he's just putting it all out there on the internet for free, these children's toes. I mean, just weird how like, because you're a director of a show that people play on, that you feel like you have access over that person's body to just Well, he did this shit for years too. It's not like he just did it for one show like fucking Victorious. He did it for a lot of shows. The pictures of their parts. We were so that blinded to it though as kids. Like we thought it was funny. It's gross and weird. These are children. And who Facts. was protecting these children? Their parents were the ones dropping them off at the damn pool party. They had Facts. to see these tweets about these feet. If I saw somebody tweeting, soliciting pictures of children's feet, and they were working with children, I might ask some questions. Yeah. But these parents don't seem to have. I don't know. Maybe they did. I wasn't there. Schneider has been well documented as having temper issues for years. Yeah, he looks like and he would have temper issues. Like he's big. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be big too if I was mad shit. I am because I am big. Videos too. Like, you'll see, like, he'll come around with, like, a you know remember the video cameras you used to carry around like vhs cameras whatever he would come around video recording like the stars on the set it's almost like they would go rigid like ariana grande like yeah why are you hey, like what shocked? are you doing here that was amazing that was one of the better things i've ever heard like why did it look hey. so like weirded out hi what's going on here <laughs> Cut out that part. why are you sitting on the floor of the set because we are oh they are <laughs> They're like so weirded out by him. No. No, oh, I did not. Must be the Remember when you said ghost? Who barked? He said a ghost Christmas past. But you can tell she hates him. Really oh. scary. Did you hear that? Like, it was very obvious that the kids were uncomfortable being around this creep. So the author says, I hear there was a flare up last week. This would have been like around March, 2018. During a meeting Dan had with Nickelodeon executives where they indicated to him that Game Shakers was not getting renewed for a fourth season. Sources say that Schneider's reaction was is, at least- What is Game Shakers? Like, what is that? Bro, they kind of Nickelodeon fell off after like, 2012 or due to the fact that game shakers was about to wrap production on its third season the following day with a another hanger season finale which would leave fans without any closure so that's allegedly what he was upset about the author says i hear at the meeting schneider was also told that with his other nick comedy henry danger on hiatus another show another would feet, move into the bro. production space in the nickelodeon owned whoa Bunny. that's a full ass child too studio which has housed schneider's series exclusively for the past few years sources say that schneider objected i think i watched game shapers of one time i don't to remember the prospect of having to share the office and production space with the non schneider's bakery show so there was a little bit of a turf war but i think they were already like you have been accused too much and you gotta go after the ousting after the departure of dan schneider from nickelodeon the new york times seems to have attempted well, to actually year. rehabilitate dan schneider's reputation schneider's blog and youtube channel from when he was nickelodeon star showrunner captured the way he would interact with the teenage actors and young fans of the show he posted a video of him spooking the iCarly actress henry Mar danger was five i never seen that show Miranda cosgrove as she walked into a room <laughs> The oh my fuck? gosh, it is so mean. But it wasn't that good. I didn't get that scared. You were kind of scared. I was a little scared. <laughs> you get me. You never get me. I just did. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? But some people who worked on Schneider's shows asked for anonymity because they feared that they would be basically retaliated against by him. She say nice things about me? Because <laughs> I will tase her if necessary. Uh -oh. oh my God. Why is he saying this? Like in a j joking way, a grown po like they're both grown obviously, but come on, this guy's a fucking old head saying, oh, I'm a tase you, bro. Like, I'll be weirded out if I work, like, let's say if I work with someone like an older coworker and he'll be like, oh, I'm going to tase you, bro. Like, that shit wouldn't sit right with me. I'll be like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> we haven't had to use it in a long time. But I said lots of nice things. So I said nice things about you. Oh. She seems so weirded out by him. Look, <laughs> that's going to get on TV. So big, too. That's going to get on TV. <laughs> 
They said they viewed his chumminess with young actors as awkward and odd for a powerful middle. Why is she sitting on his lap? Come on. Like, come on, what is this? Aged showrunner, I agree completely. Several recalled that he often spent time during the work day interacting with young fans online. And then after work, he would be texting with child actors about silly matters of teenage internet life. Former crew members recalled that Justice's character had a locker on the set of Victorious decorated with photos of young men. Alongside the words, do delicious and who's hot. One of the photos was a headshot of a young Dan Schneider. Who's Whoa, yo. Definitely not hot. And there's lots of random stuff in her locker. I've, I'm constantly staring at these pictures. Really? What the fuck? I'm gonna mink, mink, wink, wink, then wink it, then knock it out. I'm then you're gonna eat mo on him, little bro. And I'm just kind of confused by her her artwork. <laughs> uh, fun fact as well: this is Dan Schneider. This is a younger picture of handsome. Yeah. Young He's Dan. not fucking handsome. That motherfucker ugly as hell. Don't lie. I know she's lying because she wants to keep her job. But come on, don't don't lie, bro. Oh, that is gross. Schneider said the locker decoration was likely added by someone in the art department, and that it was never his goal as a showrunner to be popular or recognized. Did she say nice things about me? Because I will tase her. Now, I know that's like, bullshit. I know it for a fact, Dan. Because I saw your ass in a hot tub with Bro, a... you know you're big, like, when you when you go in, like, a pool or something or the beach, when you have a fucking shirt on. Like, come on. I'm fat, but I'm not insecure. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But, but that's besides the point. Why are you in the pool with literally teenagers? 12, 14 year old right. Amanda Bynes. So, if you didn't want to be popular and famous or whatever the f bullshit lie you told the New York Times, then you wouldn't have been in that hot tub with a preteen. So, you kind of had to kiss ass to him, is what it seems like. He's a fucking pedophile. Young teenage girl, or anyone else in the hot tub for that matter. As for interacting with fans online, he said that he did so, quote, only in very public ways that were fully transparent to his colleague. Yeah. These creeps tell us out loud what they're doing every damn day. And then when we find them doing it, they go, I did it in front of y'all. Nobody said anything when I was having pool parties for teenagers. Bro, I don't care. This don't, like, these don't, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did it in front of y'all. Nobody said anything when bro, I was having like, pool parties what for. what is this? Like, she's holding up something. Oh, I don't think y'all can see. But look, she's literally, I'm keep my camera for here for like a second. Look what's going on. Not... Literally, what is this? Why she's, bro. No. I don't know why Dan. No, did Nickelodeon get away with this? No way. Has a country accent, but he does. Just because you were a creep in public doesn't mean you weren't being a creep, you creep. Former crew members also said Schneider seemed to imagine himself. This sounds like something you would do. What the fuck? Self as the king of Nick on Sunset, the network's former soundstage. He had a private bathroom next to the one that most of the other staff members had to use. Three former colleagues recalled occasions when staff members pushed him from one room to another in a roller chair so he could keep working and route oh you know that shit he had, there had to be like three four people pushing that chair that motherfucker way too big to be getting pushed around so one person couldn't push him around there had to be three or four he's too damn big for one person to push him <laughs> it was like wally 1.0 he didn't stand up to walk around other than to chase kids around with his damn camera he didn't he's did he have weird. somebody pushing him around for that he's disgusting ironic I'm disgusted by him. Over the years, I've grown and matured as a producer and leader. Why are you guys so I guess that's ironic. Means you just don't have to be held responsible or accountable for anything you've ever done. You're These days, weird. after his three-year hiatus, Schneider seems set on returning to television and re What? Bro, he lost fucking weight. He lost so much weight. I'm trying to get like him, bro. Not no, not like that, not like that. I'm trying to lose weight. I know that didn't sound right. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to lose weight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to lose weight. Take off your shirt, little bro. What the fuck? Reintroducing his brand of comedy to new audiences. During I'm a three-hour interview like that. at the Beverly Hills but Hotel. Fuck that. He deserves to be in prison right now. I'm not going to lie. Discussed the state of children's television and his plan to bring forward an ambitious and very different pilot that he has written and sold to another network i'm assuming it's disney yeah right? i was just about to say that disney because does cartoon network have like a sitcom that's like it's all cartoons created iCarly. carly um, so i i know him, i know him. Yeah, the thing where 
I was sort of, I mean, if, if that went on, I'm fucking, that's, that's devastating to me because I don't see him in that light, you know? So watching clips on YouTube for that is, is like, like crazy. But I mean, the foot fetish shit is like, okay, bro, come on. Like, I never really noticed that when <laughs> I was You look like Gibby. The show, but of course, looking in retrospect, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. okay. All right. All the pieces <laughs> fell but, into uh, place. What is Gibby trying to say, though? <laughs> all the, all the, yeah, I just got 2020 and, and knew what was up. Did no, he ever um, ask you to take your shoes off or anything like that? Anything <laughs> to do with your fit? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I took my shirt off on TV at 10 years old, so I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Bro, Gibby knows, bro. He just doesn't, he probably can't say shit. Like, it would, it would probably, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, just like a lot of shit you can't say. You but built Dan like Schneider young Gibby. Is still okay. back on the scene. In my opinion, total creep, total suspicious vibes. The pool parties and the feet pics alone, just too much for me. Coupled with the obvious discomfort and fear that the young actors that we all know about today demonstrated in the presence of Dan Schneider and his video camera, on top of the fact that he no longer has a job. And I know for a fact he's responsible for making I did hundreds it. of millions of dollars, if not more, for Nickelodeon. I Whoa. cannot see any other reason why he was fired other than misconduct now what the misconduct was i don't know if i'm even allowed to say it on bro YouTube. no nickelodeon's they just fight they know why they fired him they're just gonna say some other things but y'all comment below what your opinion is and what your thought is on dan schneider and we will be back very soon with another pj investigates final opinions he's obviously a pedophile he deserves to be in jail he deserves uh to get knocked out you know what i'm saying let's listen to a new lucky song though w video 